So while many people know about Google Meet, they usually think of it as a software for scheduled meetings or even impromptu meetings for work, but regardless, a meetings app for work. But there's a bit more that it can do that many people are unaware of. So in this video, I'll be showcasing the video and voice calling features of Google Meet. And as you may have guessed, this video was sponsored by Google. So you can actually use Google Meet on many different devices, including on a desktop through the browser, but you can also use it on an app through tablets, on iOS, on Android, and you can even use it on smart TV. So no matter what device you're using, Google Meet should be accessible. So to getting started with Google Meet, the first thing you'll wanna do is download it through the link in the description below. You can open it and set it up with your Google account. If you already have a Google account, it's almost instant to set it up. It connects very easily. And already at this point, you'll be able to join meetings and uh, add meetings to your schedule and things like that, but you won't be able to use the call functions. So to utilize the call functions, what you'll wanna do is connect your phone number. So within the app, if you go up to menu, go to settings, Go to add phone number, you enter your phone number, you'll get a text message, and you can enter the verification code that's texted to you. Now once it's verified, you'll be able to call your friends or anybody you can join group calls. We'll talk about the different ways you can use Google Meet in a second, but the first thing you'll wanna do is find out who else is on Google Meet. So you can scroll through your contacts, figure out who you might wanna call, and if anybody is not on Google Meet yet, you can simply invite them by either typing in their phone number or going through your contacts and tapping the invite button next to them. And that'll open your default texting app. You say send, they'll get the link, they can download Google Meet. Now, like I said, there are several ways you can use Google Meet. The first one is a one-on-one -on -one call. So calling a friend or somebody in your family, you could go down your contacts and simply call them or you could type in their phone number, as I said before. And on the call, you can change your background, you can blur your background. You can show photos behind you. You have a lot of fun things you could do in the call. And you can also add fun filters as well. So if you want to like make yourself look like a, a cowboy or something, you can totally do that as well. If somebody is not available to call at the time, you also have the ability to send a video message. So you can simply go to that contact and you can record a video message and either just send it to them or you can uh, kind of edit the video message. You can add like drawings on there. You can add text on the video and then you can send it to them like that or you could send an emoji. So if you don't wanna send a video message, you could just send an emoji to say like, hey, I'm thinking about you. The other thing you could do is just send them a text-based message. And so all of that is great for one-on-one -on -one communications. But you can also start a group call with up to 32 members using Google Meet. So let's actually get into a little example. I'll try out Google Meet and uh, call somebody and see if they pick up. All right, so I'm just gonna test out a little phone call here. Uh, see if my other, see if he'll pick up. Um, there he is. Hey, buddy. <laughs> yeah, he's not really that talkative right now. All right, well, I'll talk to you later. So talking about the benefits of Google Meet, one is international travel. You no longer need a new phone number for every country you go to, uh, and you don't have to keep your own phone number and pay a lot for international roaming fees. Instead, you could just use Wi-Fi wherever you go or pay for a, a usually pretty cheap local data plan. Now, the second benefit is interoperability between platforms. So if your friends are split between Android and iOS, you can just use Google Meet. Everybody can download it. Everybody can get on the calls. Thirdly, it's easy to have just one app for work meetings as well as casual friend and family meetings. And lastly, calling and texting, like voice calling and texting, they're great, but sometimes it's just better to have a video call. It's a little bit different for some reason when you see somebody's face, and it's also great for demonstrating things. Like for example, if you're that person who shows up to college and doesn't know how to do laundry, you might wanna call your parents real quick on Google Meet so they can actually show you how the machine works so you're not embarrassed in front of your friends when they find out you don't know how to do laundry. So that is a quick summary of Google Meet, specifically the voice and video calling. Again, thanks to Google for sponsoring this video. You can get started with the link down below and uh, hopefully you guys know how to do laundry. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.